Travel half the province to Texas. Quebec or Quebec? Amateur hunters showing some pride in having killed a nice pelted beast. With men like this roaming the area, wolves would become extinct within 10 years, Carl thought. Yeah. A nice picture of the Magasin La Chance store, seemingly taken the day it was first opened. It feels frozen in time from an era long forgotten. Yeah. Jumping from that height was akin to tempting death. Perhaps that man on the snowmobile had seen enough of this world already. <laughs> uh, 1968. Mailboxes. Ah, the good old days when you had to go to the general store to pick up your mail. Lip, local post office. Ooh, another flyer. Secretary wouldn't be luxury. Turn switch. Electricity turned off. Uh oh. Electricity from generator. Electricity turned off. Power on. High voltage. I better not touch that. Wolves. Maintaining his composure, Carl recalled something from his military training. Wolves always stay away from populated areas. Wait, was it about bears? <laughs> An explosion suddenly occurred outside. Oh. Dang it, buddy! Storm pummeled everything in its path. Carl was not surprised when he heard no tone. Carl knew that Gilles Lachance was in charge of the general store. That made him one of Hamilton's employees. A very angry employee, as Carl could plainly see. Seeds. More 
According to that log, it seemed like the whole village owed some money to the general store. Carl was far more interested in the bunch of nearby addresses he had just gotten his hands on, though. Ooh, a key. We need some flyers. Find some flyers. Cleanest spot in the area. Ooh, nuts. Flyers, there we go. Now we can fix the wire. Yeah, I love weekend. So big, you can put two dead bodies in that. Fragile. Yep, definitely French. Fragile. Staring intently at the controls won't be enough to make that lift budge. The poor thing was out of power. Huh. Okay, so we, we gotta fix the power. Alright, let's go back and fix the wire, right? Is that what we gotta do? I wonder how long the flashlight will last us. I haven't turned it off. Back up. Oh, not that way. Oh, footy prints. Can we start the fire? Oh, 
the crowbar was stuck under the lift. Oh, nice Notwithstanding crowbar. Carl's imposing stature, car lifting wasn't part of his skill set yet. Yeah, uh, we, we got to work up to being able to lift cars. Staring intently at the controls won't be enough to make that lift budge. The poor thing was out of power. What? Out of power? Didn't we just turn the power off? Didn't we just turn the power off? I could have we turned the power off. Go check the circuit breaker. Alright, we're all generating power. Turn on. The note explained that the garage and the store couldn't be supplied with electricity at the same time. Okay. Well, there's your problem. Alright. So we had to turn the power to the store off in order for the power to Closing these doors. All right, now it should work. Um, oh, that was cool. Now we pick up the crowbar. At long last, the crowbar was within Carl's grasp. All right. Surely it would come in handy at some point. cars like they used to. Right, let's get back to the store. Oh, it said open. What do we got? Nothing. Now you never know. The puzzle game, you gotta pick everything up. I bet it was the wolves that uh, messed everything up. Alright, so let's turn off the garage. Turn on the store. Some information secret to post this key. Shame he got unlucky. Everything made sense now. Poor Hamilton's denunciation was interrupted, and he figured it would be best to lock everything up and send the key to his correspondent, who would receive the box later on. Clever, but not enough. That's what happens to ordinary people playing spy. Build up. 
Carl knew straight away where to find the infuriated Gilles Lachance. Any good investigation would have to start there. That's right. A milkman had to drive by every week to fill the bottles. The fresh milk indicated a recent visit. beginning to know the store and its surroundings like the back of his hand. The seeker had sought. Carl was used to strange phenomena, but a chunk of ice like this? As if an iceberg came out of the ground? That was a first. It was so cold, already Carl did not feel his toes anymore. Oh, Carl wondered what the hell could that thing be? It looked like a man fossilized in ice. All of a sudden, Carl felt like he was pulled inside a world of dreams, uh -oh. a cold, unknown dimension. Somehow, self-control was slipping from his grasp. This was a hunting log. Better yet, a war diary. War diary. What could these engraved numbers mean? A fresh path suddenly appeared before Carl. Write that down. Seven three nine. We're backtracking somebody's tracks. Oh, watch out for the wolves. Chevy. 